if it's it's not it's too big for a brim no it's a brim holy horse that is a horse of a brim <laughs> Hey folks, Justin from Tackle Tactics, just in the shed, basically gearing up a bit of gear ready for the weekend. Got my dad coming to stay, mum and dad, dad and I are planning to get out for a fish. So basically we're gonna be going to chase some brim and hopefully some nice brim if we can get out there and find them. Gear wise, we're fishing a couple of light spin sticks. So we're gonna be fishing Helios SX Akuma spin rods in a two to four and a three to six. We've got jaw 30s on those. 10 pound P8 braid and we're going to fish 10 pound fluorocarbon leaders. So a lot of guys go, oh, 10 pound bit heavy for brim. But where we fish, the water's often quite dirty, but also the fish don't tend to care too much in the area that we fish. It's not like it's heavily, heavily pressured. And also if we do hook a nice flathead or a jewfish or something else, we've got a better chance of, of stopping them with that heavier leader. Uh, in terms of plastics and jig heads, so we're going to fish an old favorite for us, the two and a half inch slim swims in a motor oil or a midnight oil and we're going to have that rigged on a quarter ounce 1.0 TT Lewis Demons jig head. So if you've watched, watched the videos that I do before, you've probably seen this presentation quite a bit, but it's a hard one to go past when you're chasing flathead and brim especially. But the brim love this plastic and they will hunt it down and they'll smash that plastic. So we generally fish it across the flats, long cast, let it sink to the bottom or near the bottom give it a few shakes and then we'll just slow roll it back to the boat or we'll stop every now and then or give it a few shakes as well just to bring it to life and if there's a fish following it it might make it hit that plastic as well so where we're fishing in the session tomorrow we're on some flats and then we're on a drop off and because it's a big high tide there's going to be a fair bit of water pumping so we're going to go out just before the high we're going to fish the slack and then we're going to fish the start of the run out and the bottom is an undulating bottom that's got a lot of patchy heavy weed in it so that'll draw bait and draw fish to the area. So basically we're gonna work the lure, we'll make long casts, we'll allow it to get to the bottom or near the bottom, and then I'm gonna mix it up between a slow roll and a hopping and pause retrieve and a shaking shaking and winding type retrieve until we find the, what the fish want on the day to eat that plastic. But just remember this thing's super realistic. That underhook tail gives the plastic a crazy tail action. So it'll swim on the sink so you're already letting the fish know it's there. That tail action is irresistible and there's nothing out there that swims like this little plastic. So whether we're hopping it, slow rolling it, shaking it, whatever we're doing, that tail's gonna be going crazy and hopefully the brim liked the look of it and we get stuck into a few. So I'll keep gearing the boat up. Tomorrow morning we'll be out on the water and we'll see how we go. Fish on. Straight ahead of us there's some flicking dart. Brown. Now it's woken up. It is woken up. <laughs> That's golden mate. He ate it as soon as it hit the water, right? Eh? Yeah. It says got to the bottom, I reckon. He was sitting there waiting for it. <clears throat> Good fun that little two to four Helios SX rod. Nice and tippy. Coming up. Coming up. No, 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 he knows he's <laughs> potentially on the menu, that bloke. <laughs> Here he comes, coming up. Coming up, we'll just hold the net in the water. In he comes, beautiful. Awesome fish. Interesting colour on him, eh? Well, he, he just sort of come There's out. There's another of, jumping thing. He just sort of come out of the blue, eh? Yep, and he threw your lure in the net. Oh. Two and a half inch slim swims, quarter one oh. Demons. Caught a few on that combination, Dad. <laughs> mm. The great thing about this little paddle tail with that quarter ounce one is it swims like really well on the drop like it's trying to get away. Yeah. So like that flatty of yours before, he sees the things plop yeah. and then he sees the thing swimming down straight into his mouth. Yeah. They're over just there, you reckon? Yeah. yeah. There's a little bit of movement over there too. Yeah. We'll just creep over there. 
good water depth here and there seems to be a fair bit of sand as well yeah yeah you tell you what you pulled that fish out of nothing there's not much going on <laughs> uh, I think he's a poor unlucky bugger. just got to be confident in the presentation and then you just like you know you're throwing something around they'll eat if they're there That was bizarre. That was a flathead, oh, I think. Did he come back? No, I watched him come back. He, he, I think it might be a grunter. He dropped it, and then he came back and he hit it again. Then he missed it again. So then I let it sink to the bottom. Then he drilled it. Unless it's a trev. Yeah, it might be a trev, eh? By the feel of that. He missed it, and then no, it is a brim or a grunter, hey. It's a solid fish, he missed it. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> I saw him chasing it. So I let it fall to the bottom again and then he has just yeah, cracked it, eh? Sort of, he, he let you go first time. Yep. Two and a half inch slim swims, hey, everything eats it. He's a nice brim. He's a solid fish. Have a look at that thing. Oh, He's all right. Trying to get rid of him for you. He's all right. <laughs> <laughs> He's a clunker. Might get a photo with him actually. Why not? <laughs> that was excellent. I watched him whack it, eh? So there we go. That is an absolute cracker, Bribbo. 2.5 inch slim swims in motor oil colour. Quarter ounce 1 0. Demon's jig head. So he actually followed it and had a crack at it important thing not to rip it away from him so I've dropped it back down to the bottom and he's come and nailed that again he's got a, a solid hook set on him so there you go that's a, a beautiful brim <laughs> nice. how are you going for scent a couple of good runs like a trev <laughs> yeah he didn't want to come up did he how's your oh your leader all right as well Get us back on some fish. Oh, that was cool. Like, that's the weed edge where we started, hey? Yes. So if we start there again, we should be fine. I just try, I'm just trying to avoid spooking them if I can. All right, we're up on the edge here. Anywhere has got to be worth a cast. I'll throw one right up on top of it. Good edge here, Dad, if you want to start there or whatever, yeah. and then work your way out. Got to get eaten in there. Good deep bit you're in there now. Yep, there he is. Oh, micro flatfish. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's alright. Don't think we'll bother. Yep. Ooh. That was a great take, hey. That was to a little bit of a bait flick. Oh yeah. That was a solid it's take. A oh, if it's a brimbo, it's a beast. Okay. I don't think it's a brimbo. I think it's a tank. It's a snapper. It's a turtle hooked in the butt. Watch one out there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Luckily, if it's a turtle, it's only a small one. <laughs> I flicked to a bit of bait that time. I saw a bit of bait. It's we're fighting weird, but it's solid. It's silver. Oh, it's a thumper. That's got some weight, Dad. Oh, that's crazy weight. No. Oh, is that a big grunt? If it's a brim, it's ridiculous. I think it's a grunter. 
if it's it's not it's too big for a brim no it's a brim holy horse that is a horse of a brim <laughs> two and a half inch slim swims quarter one o demons fishing the flats actually fishing a little bit deeper off an edge but that's a cracker brim i'll bring him back down he's being a bit of a pain i'll spin him around again <laughs> that is a beast snapper <laughs> have a look at that thing <laughs> oh mate right. i'll give you i reckon i'll give you knuckles on that one <laughs> what an absolute beast <laughs> holy dooly oh, that, that is a yes, weapon we need a photo of that oh that's a slab Just as soon as i bring his mate oh. Now that is a brim. That is a brim, mate. You want your uh, phone out Whoa. there. Whoa. Let's put him on the measure. He's a beast. He is a... He's just that's... solid build. Oh, that's nearly 40 to the fork. 39 to the fork. <laughs> yep, 30. 30. Are you on? Yeah. Is it, does it feel like a snapper? Oh, yep. <laughs> Not as good as yours. On the little Jaw 30, 10 pound braid, 10 pound stealth fluoro. Oh, he's a solid brim, mate. He's another nice one. Oh. Yeah, but don't sit him next to yours. <laughs> <laughs> he might get eaten. <laughs> oh, That's what a beast. Right. I'll fix that up. We'll get you. Have a look at those couple of brim. We'll get you on camera with that one. Seriously, have a look at those couple of brim. Grab that brim of yours, Dad, yeah, yeah. so I can put it next to mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't let him swallow it. Oh, stoked. Look at that. Look at that. Got him? Couple of, yeah, that's a solid brim. And then that thing is just a tank. That is an absolute beast. 38 forker slab of brim. And basically what we're doing is we're just dropping these two and a half inch slim swims down across the flats and down the drop off and they are just getting absolutely drilled that's brilliant 38 forker 38 forker over 40 centimeters of brim <laughs>